Hi kids, welcome back to I Innovation. In this channel, learn for lesson 6th standard, term 3, unit 2, water lesson or book evaluation. Let's go video. Clear. Water lesson topic is water. Okay, so in our human body, we have average water in the picture. Then how do we get water? The availability of water in the earth. Earth is the water availability about the water cycle. And the distribution and composition of water. Water la inna composition erikku, the water cycles. Then the three types of three states of water. Okay, solid, liquid, gaseous. So about the water, how does it present? It is all given here. Detail about the underground water and the way to conserve the water. So water nam eppi conserve panuwa apniingrada inga kudithir kanga. So this is what there in the lesson, children. Idella go through pani paringa. Now let us see the book evaluation children. Roman letter 1. Choose the appropriate answer. Around 97% of water available on earth is dash water. That is salty water. 97% of water earth lirka kudiyad me salty na. Okay. Which of the following is not a part of a water cycle distillation? Which of the following processes add water vapor to the atmosphere? That is I and 4 that is first one and fourth one that is transpiration and evaporation these two are the process that is added in water vapor okay that is transpiration and evaporation about 30 percent of fresh water is found in ground water using RO plant at home eliminates lot of non portable water the best way to effectively use the expelled water of RO plant is use it for watering plants. So the ex excess of water from RO we get no. So waste water we use like RO use panamoda. So that water we can use it for plants. Fill in the blanks. Only 0.3% of natural water is available for human consumption. The process of changing water into vapor is called evaporation. Dam is built on rivers to regular water flow and distribute water. Water levels in river increase great during draining. Water cycle is also called hydrological cycle. So we, can, we call the water cycle as hydrological cycle. True or false? If false, give the correct statement. Water present in rivers, lakes, ponds is unfit for use by man. So this is a wrong statement, isn't it? It is false. It is fit for the use of human. Okay. Seas are formed when the water table meets the land surface. That is false. Ponds are found, formed. Okay. When the water table meets the land surface. The evaporation of water takes place only in sunlight. That is true. Fourth true or false. Condensation results in the formation of dew on grass. That is true. Sea water can be used for irrigation as such. That is false. We cannot use the sea water. That is the right answer. Match the following children. Sea flood. That is increased rainfall. So increase in rainfall other number flood dun solo. Surface water, lake, sunlight, evaporation, cloud, water vapor, frozen water, it is found in poles. Okay. It is all about the water cycle. So what will be the first step? Okay. So the heat of the sun causes evaporation of water from the surface of the earth. Ocean, lakes, rivers and other water bodies. The, uh, it, uh, this is the first step in water cycle. The sun, it will he evaporate the water from all the water bodies. Okay. Then the second step in water cycle is water vapor is also continuously added to the atmosphere through transpiration from the surface of the leaves of the trees. So the water vapor not at one time it taken. So this process water cycle taken for a long time after the water will be storage. Okay, It is continuously added to the atmosphere. So how does it add it through the transpiration from the leaves of the trees. This is the second point. The third point here 
higher up in the atmosphere the air is cool so this makes the air cool these vapors condense to form a tiny droplets of water so these vapors it change it into a droplets of water the droplets fifth point these droplets floating in the air along with the dust particle form clouds so this is how the clouds formed warm air carrying clouds rise up and then the water droplets come together to form a large water droplet so the small droplet it is will be form into clouds and it will become a large water droplet okay that is the seventh point and eighth point the large water droplets become heavy and the air cannot hold them therefore the rain they fall as rain so once the water droplet becomes very heavy then it comes as a rain so this is how the water cycle takes place how does we get the rain also so this is the arrangement of sequence children you can mark the numbers here next analog population explosion water scarcity recycle water management ground water that is well you can write bore well anything you can write surface water lakes give short answer name four different sources of water so you can see many sources so sources how do we get water page number 15 here you can find many sources of water they were asking only four sources but you know you need to know all this so how do we get namalik engalendala water kedaikum from the wells canals tanks ponds rivers water tanks hand pipes are the main sources of water second question how do people in cities and rural areas get water for various purpose so our daily our day to day life how the city people and rural peoples they get the waters so if you take cities how do they get they get from the water pipe isn't it so hand pipes and water tanks these are the places they will get even bore wells will be provided so cities la la patha bore wells irukum namalukku tanks irukum la water tanks irukum pipe irukum so hand pipe adu valiya namalukku we will get the water in cities whereas in rural places they will get in wells canals ponds and rivers so in the rural places la la inga irund avangalukku waters kedaikum so well irukum canals irukum ponds and rivers in the places la irund avangalukku water kedaikum so these are the different sources in cities and rural areas third question take out of a cool bottle of water from refrigerator keep it on a table after some time you notice a puddle on water around it why the cool surface of the bottle cools the air around it and the water vapor on the air condenses this is the answer for the third question we could see clouds almost every day why does it it rain daily answer is in page number 19 children so this is how the rain comes the perception is the answer now we have to make some corrections that is daily we are not getting rain isn't it the clouds once the clouds get heavy droplets then we get the rain isn't it so here you have to write the millions of tiny droplets okay they do not collide with one another to form larger droplets the air around the cloud is not cool so this is the reason why every day we are not getting the rain okay this changes you make it okay the millions of tiny droplets do not collide with one another to form larger droplets the air around the cool is not cool clouds is not cool name the places where water is found as ice polar ice caps glaciers icebergs so these are the places we can found ice uh, water as ice okay how do aquatic animal manage to live in arctic and antarctic circle page number 21 see here you have to start from here children water in lake ponds and in the arctic and antarctic circle so instead of cold countries you can write their names 
will be frozen and solid layer of the ice is formed on the surface of the water you have to start from here and end of this point okay end of this para you have to mark for the sixth answer these places you make the corrections okay what are the types of rain water harvesting page number 22 rain water harvesting under the heading you have to write rain water harvesting first one is collecting water from where it falls okay wherever it is fall in that place we are collecting the water the second type is collecting rain water by constructing ponds with bunds okay so these are the two types how the rain water it uh, we say okay rain water harvesting takes place that there are two types one is collecting water from where it falls that is from where uh, it is from the roof of the house like that okay the second point collecting rain water by constructing ponds with bunds okay dear children roman letter 8 and roman letter 9 part 2 book evaluation la upload pandra adla paathu learn panikonga ipo nama indha video la roman letter 1 to roman letter 7 varaikum paathirukom engaloda channel ah idhu varaikum subscribe pannaama irundinga subscribe panikonga ungaloda friends ku share pannunga thanks for watching our video thank you have a nice day